Hello and welcome to this video blog. For this video I find something special. The truly off-grid portable washing machine. Uh, the best actually I could find. I did some research and I find this machine, import it from Poland and now I want to share it with you. This washing machine is really portable. Actually it's in my camper van right now. But where it is? Oh, maybe it's behind the driver's seat? Not there. Passenger seat? Nope. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Isn't here. So where it is? What if I say I sitting on it right now? Let me just open my seat. And it's right there. The whole washing machine right here. I want to give this washing machine a proper test. So now we will move to my apartment where I will make a small review and a full proper washing test to this small machine. And you could be sure that this is not a net. I paid my money for this machine, I imported it from Poland and actually it's very hard to make an add to the machine that called Turbo. Really, I couldn't find any proper names on this thing. Uh, on the back it calls Turbo TV Washer 3 kilograms. German line. It's just random words here. It's, if you Google it, you will find nothing. So, that's a very proper and truly honest testing and review. Let's look to the unit itself. It's pretty nice and modern looking with uh, these lovely colors. It has open close lid to the main washing container. It has two knobs and one of that is control knob. Control with this knob is pretty simple. It has uh, the wash timer and the spin timer. If you want to wash your clothes, you just set it to the wash timer. It grades from 0 to 10 minutes and the washing machine starting to wash and for spin timer you move it there and spin timer graduated from 0 to 3 minutes and the machine start to spin until it goes to 0 simple as that just one knob to the two functions and second knob is actually a fake knob and it relieves the inlet for the water so it comes with this holes, you can connect it to the inlet and connect other end to your water source uh, if that's what you're into uh, instead of pouring water direct to the container but basically it's the same because it's just a hole that leads to the containers anyway Inside the machine we will found actual spinner that spins, moves the water and makes the washing process of your clothes also, this machine provided with spinning basket. You set it there after the washing process is done and there is no water there. You put your wet clothes there, put this lid uh, on top of that and put it in the spin process and it will spin uh, this basket and luckily moves water out from the clothes. On the right side of the machine there is water hose to drain your water out from the machine. You just need to put it below this level between the blue and the white plastic and the gravity will do the rest. On the back side there is power inlet and handle for easy transportation. This washing machine weighs only 5 kilograms so it's easy for everyone to carry it around when it's empty of course. And on the downside it has rubber feet to not moving around when it wash and not scratch the surface that it stands on. Because I import this washing machine from the Poland it has only instruction on the Poland and my Poland language knowing is very limited so I will guess how it works. It must be pretty easy, right? To test out this washing machine I will do the standard washing process. I will wash my clothes for 10 minutes, I will rinse my clothes for 10 minutes and I will spin for 3 minutes. And we will see how much power it drains and 
how well my clothes will be washed. For test wash, I have this pretty big bucket of the dirty clothes. There is a couple of socks, underwear, pants, and I also have something special. The two t-shirts that helps me making my van conversion. The first one, you can see it's very dirty on the back. And second one... Yep. I lay many hours on the street in this t-shirt. So it's a very good challenge to this small machine. And I will put there some random washing power I found at my house. To measure how many power this machine needs to operate, I will use my very precise weight meter, because for me it's very important to know how much power I need to provide for this washing machine off-grid to wash my clothes. And now let's put water inside. To know how much water you need to put there, uh, the washing machine container has these lines of the low, medium and high amounts of water. And because of Poland instruction, I don't know what's the difference between these levels, so I will put it around the middle. And we start. That's 2 liters, 2 liters more, and all that is cold water, and 2 liters more, and again 2 liters. And that's two more liters of boiling water. Ooh. And for now, with eight liters of cold water and two liters of hot water, total 10 liters, which is a great number, I will stick with that. Uh, the water is a little more than the lowest level, and we will see what this machine can do with that. I will set the timer to 10 minutes somewhere there, and machine starts its washing process. It spins for the one direction, then stops, and spins to the other direction. That's the washing process. Let's wait for the timer to stop. Power meter counts all the power this machine will take, and at the end we will see how many power it takes for the whole process. Fire two and a half minutes of washing and it, it's only 25 watt hours of power, which for 12 volts is about 2 amps of your battery. Not bad, not bad at all for the off-grid washing machine. Let's drain the water from it and see how dirty it is. Just move it there and there we go. Yeah, that's a uh, dirty water. Okay, that's all for now. And I will put there the clean cold water and we will rinse the clothes for 10 minutes more. That's a 10 liter of fresh cold water. Okay. Close the lid and start the process of washing again. I will be back in 10 minutes. The rinse process is done, and the wet meter shows uh, 51 wet hours of power combined with washing process and rinse process, so it's 25 and 25, and in total it's about 4 amps of your 12 volt battery, which is pretty nice. And now we'll move out the water from the washing machine. Let's move out the clothes from the container. It's very wet, of course, because 
it was no spinning process yet. And our t-shirt. And now let's see to the spinning process. I especially choose this machine for this spinning uh, functionality with this basket because not many of these machines has this function. Uh, you can see this basket is pretty small so I can probably put there maybe half of the clothes. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's all. Maybe one more. Yeah, it's probably half. We will see. So I put it there. And now, okay, I put this thing inside. It will hold the clothes in the basket, not letting them fly everywhere. And now I will set the spin timer to 3 minutes. The spin process is continuous and it not stops until the timer stops and it drains 140 watts of power. While it spins, I think I need to release the water it pushes from the clothes. Oh, the smart move! You can't open the lid while it spins. It stops automatically. Three minutes passed and it consumes about five wet hours of power, which is uh, less than half uh, an amp hour of your 12 volt battery, which is really nothing. And I will put there the second pack of my wet clothes. Let's see how good it spins the clothes. Oh, it's pretty good. It's not that much of the water inside there. See, it's it's quite good. I of course I can get some water from there, but yeah, for the this small machine, it's very very good. Very very nice. Let's put the second pack of clothes there. Okay, I hope it will fit there. My pants and t-shirt is all that left there. Yeah! I think that will work. Okay, let's start the spinning process again. And that's all, machine stops, uh, that's how much water we got from uh, the spin process and that's how much power it takes for the whole washing, rising and spinning process of the my pack of testing clothes, which was one pants, three underwear, three pair of socks and two t-shirts. Uh, not bad, it's uh, 64 watt hours of power and for 12 volts battery it will be about five and a half ampere hours, which is nice for washing your clothes in your camper van. Okay, now I will dry these clothes completely and will be back to you with the results. This next day my testing clothes is dried out and we will see how good washing machine cleans them. Uh, we start with the socks. Looks very good. It was dirtier from the start for sure. And there's the socks, socks there. Okay. Smells very good. No smell at all, very fresh and super clean. Five stars. Okay, underwear looks fine. Ah, risky move. Yeah, it's great. No smell at all. Very nice. Pants looks fine. 
This pants wasn't super dirty from the start. I just add them for the whole volume of the washing clothes. And to be fair, it was a pretty big amount of clothes for this little machine. And okay, now the challenging part, this t-shirt. Uh, if you could remember, on the back it was super dirty because I lay, in, uh, lay on the street, on the asphalt in this t-shirt while I making some works in my van. But for now, it's pretty good. I couldn't see any problems. Yeah, and smells like a new one. Very nice, very fresh. Okay, and this one, yeah, we find the limit uh, with this machine. Probably if I give it some more time or if I make water uh, a little hotter, more than 40 degrees, I give it, uh, maybe it will perform better. But it was extreme conditions because this t-shirt was just ruined by me by laying on the... <laughs> on the ground for whole day uh, under the van so yeah it was super bad and now it's uh, still bad but definitely better and i couldn't wish for more honestly because the, all the other clothes with normal situation and this was pretty dirty t-shirt it still smells good uh, it's a very great result and I use it with a off-grid style of limited resources. I only put uh, there uh, 10 liters of water for the washing, uh, 10 liters for the rising and I only give it uh, 10 minutes for that, 10 minutes for that and uh, 3 minutes for each spin. So I just Test it with very very limited resources and it deal with that very great. I am very pleased with this result. I really like this washing machine uh, because it costs not so much. It takes a very low amount of space and if you will be smart enough you could use the inside space of the washing machine too to store some washing stuff or maybe your dirty clothes until you wash that so it will be very nice use of this space and it takes a very low amount of power it could wash my clothes with 20 liters of water and i will give you a links to the amazon with this washing machine or the similar ones if you want to check them out i will definitely use this washing machine in my everyday life and travels in my van uh, because that's really exactly what I search for and I will update you about information of me using this machine with more experience in some future videos. And that's all for this video, thank you for watching, I see you in next videos, bye!